AJ, it seems like uh, just being around practice a little bit, the defense likes to make a lot of noise. Uh, what's it like being part of that and being one of the leaders? I mean, it's honestly, it's really a, a fun opportunity because, I mean, I think one thing we kind of challenge ourselves with every day is being that energy group, especially the DBs and just coming uh, and, like, being able to come to practice because, like, obviously everybody doesn't want to practice every day, but the idea is if you make it fun and get something out of it, then it's a lot better. So then it translates over to the game. Before we, where y'all see we're always talking and stuff, just chirping. But at the end of the day, that's just truly just passion and just the love for the game. How big a, oh, go ahead. How, uh, how big a role does Brandon Joseph just play in that, do you think? Uh, you know what's funny? Brandon's actually probably one of the quietest ones <laughs> out of all the DBs. But every now and then, if somebody gets underneath him a little bit, he may he may say a little something. But for the most part, he's very laid back. I'm not going. He's not like not like Jr. used to be, or even myself. But for the most part, he's a pretty chill guy. Do you have a, uh, an example of when someone got under his skin a little bit? Uh, not trying to no like no disrespect or anything. But uh, when we was playing Auburn game, it was kind of hot out there. Bo Nix said to uh, Brandon, he's like, man. You're not from the South, huh? And it was funny because Brandon was like, I'm from Texas. I, I'm good with the heat or whatever. But for the most part, they were chirping. I mean, words were said, but for the most part, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's just football. You ever been around a guy with more energy than Spivak? Me myself. You, you, honestly. You think, yeah? No, honestly, myself. I think I bring energy every day. I'm always char charismatic, dancing. Like, you guys see me in the locker room and stuff, just the way I, like, always just talk to my teammates and get underneath them. But honestly, no, Spivak's very good, but – He's the defensive line energy guy. I'm the DB energy guy for the most. Or I like to say I am, but yes, nah. You ever have like a you know, dance off or anything like that in the locker yeah, room? Oh, dance off. I'm trying to tell you, we literally dance every day. We go, after we get done with practice, go in there, put on some tunes, just, just vibe out for a little bit. But now, nah, for the most part, I've never gotten to dance off with Spivak because I'm kind of known as one of the dancers on the team just because of my goofy personality and just my charisma. But now, nah, for the most part, I will say Ramad, you guys know Ramad. We, me and him used to dance all the time. Bryce Jackson is very sneaky. He gonna hate that I said this, but Bryce Jackson is actually a really good dancer. C. Mitch, you know, Malik uh, Washington. But for the most part, everybody got a little bit of something in there. It sounds like a lot of guys are good. Oh, yeah, no, no. If only y'all could see it, but uh, I mean, you, you'll see it, you'll see it coming up. But yeah, yes, sir. Do you think every uh, position group has their own energy guy, or is it mostly come from the defense? No, I would like to say every uh, uh, position group definitely has their own energy guy for the most part because that's kind of one thing we pride ourselves on at Northwestern is being able to bring that energy, especially like when the weather's cold and stuff for the most part. And like it's kind of hard because like, most of the time we don't want to come out and practice because like it's either windy or like the, the I mean, just the weather's just cold. Cause me, myself personally, being from Florida, I'm not, <laughs> you know, it can get hard at times. But when you got other people that you lean on and other groups that, you know, are bringing the energy to, it makes you not feel alone for the most part. Any like sleeper picks in terms of energy guys? Obviously, we know about Spivak. We know about you. Anyone a little under the radar? Ah, that's a great question. That is a great question. Because for the most part, everybody kind of kind of does the same. Uh, freshman. I'm trying to think of any freshman because they're still kind of open enough. I'd like to say uh, Jordan Mosley. Jake, we call him J Mo. He's, he he can be real good. He dances every now and then with us. Uh, Sam Dupe can be kind of funny. He but he's kind of laid back too. And DB room, Cam Mitchell, he's actually a jokester, but you guys just don't see it because he's kind of shy. <laughs> but, no, I, de I definitely think there's a few sleepers. You just got to get to know him and just talk to him. Still got a few more practices to go, but how ready is this team for next Friday? Oh, we're, oh, we're very ready, very ready. Been focusing on ourselves, just focusing on technique things, it's getting the scheme underhand for the most part. It's been fun, though, learning just playing with each other, having fun, and getting ready. I mean, just go to war and have fun because at the end of the day, we're really focusing on ourselves. And we're our, our biggest opponent every day. So that's kind of the biggest thing we like to focus on and think about. Speaking of energy, what does it do for you guys to have a full house at Ryan Field on a Friday night as well? It's going to be amazing. I, it's, honestly, I've been thinking about it because, I mean, last year, you know, it was kind of a bummer not having any fans. But this year, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be exciting. Just even just all the energy here and all the, the crowd and cheering, it, it kind of lets you play at another level. And because, like, it's, you always play a little bit better when people are watching. I mean, you, you're supposed to play the same, but it's just something about that. You're like, okay, I go one more little rep, even though I'm kind of tired. But for the most part, it's going to be exciting. I'm very excited to see the Cats fans. I know they're excited to be there, and it's, it's going to be real fun. Hey, you had the chance to play with a lot of really talented DBs the last couple of years. They <clears throat> some JR Pace. Yes, sir. Joseph. How have they helped you develop as a player? Honestly, for the most part, ever since I got in from day one, especially people like Greg and JR, those were some of the, the main people, even Montre and all of them. They really just took me in and put me in that mindset of being 
the best on the field at all times and no and not looking not really trying to give wide receivers any like room to believe like oh I, he won this rep because he's better than me but no it's really just the mindset like i talked to y'all last time about greg greg has the biggest chip on his shoulder ever he just thinks he's the best and hanging out with him all the time we kind of got into like personal battles like oh i'm better than you i'm better than you but i'm better than you but that's just something that, like you learn to kind of just like okay if he's playing like this, talking like this, maybe if I change my mindset a little bit, it's going to take me to that next level. And then, for example, JR, me and JR, we, we like to talk trash on, in the game, you know, have a little bit of fun. But one thing that JR did is he, he made sure the offense heard him every play. And I feel like that also is like a mind game, too, because at times it can really get into the offense's head, even if it's just not really doing anything. But, you know. AJ, how noticeable is it now to not have those guys grab JR at practice anymore? I mean, obviously, you go from seeing them every day to not seeing them anymore. But for the most part, I feel like we've had guys, we've had a lot of guys that have stepped up and are ready to play. So it's not you're not going to really see a drop off or even be worried about it because trust me, we're going to be in that same energy, be that same group as last year. But for the most part, I will say I do miss them because I, I got here freshman year. Those are my guys that took me in, and now you're looking at it, I'm kind of the old head guy that's taking people in. But for the most part, I mean, it is what it is. You miss them, and it's kind of different. But new guys step up, new guys take over, and lead the Sky team. Who have you seen step up the most that's really stuck out to you? Uh, what, offense, defense? Uh, well, defense-wise, I'm going to be honest, we kind of, I like to say, my, uh, corner-wise, obviously, uh, like I say, I've tried to step into a major role. Rod Hurd, that's my guy. He's a very quiet guy, but you guys are going to see a lot of him this year. Uh, Cam Mitchell, obviously. Corey and Ozima, that's his correct name, correct name. We call him Coco. That's my boy, Zero. Y'all, that I love Coco. He brings the energy every day. He's a fast player. And then Bryce Jackson, obviously, he's very smart in the backfield. You haven't seen much of him, obviously, because JR and all them. But honestly, I feel like we got a great little team, like especially a young team for the most part. And it's going to be a lot of like breakout stars for the, like that you guys are going to see that you have normally haven't seen because of just, you know, we've had like the older guys like Patty and Blake Gallagher and all the men. But for the most part, it'd be good. How different is it going against the offense this, in this year's camp compared to last year with him? obviously not going against Peyton, just completely different personnel. Uh, for the most part, I'm going to be honest, uh, as a defense, we think of it as the same anyway because we're not really – we focus on ourselves first because we know we're we're trying to be the best defense in the nation. So, honestly, I mean, the same the injury's the same. I talk trash to everybody at practice. I'm not going – I don't care who you are. I'm going to work on myself, and I know that's what we try to focus. And we try to teach the young guys early ahead in time that – don't worry about the opponent in front of you right now. Focus on your technique. Focus on getting one day better and choosing one thing to improve on that day. But for the most part, it hasn't been – I mean, obviously it's been different because, like, Peyton, he was a really good quarterback and stuff for the most part. But offense-wise, I mean, we still have some of the same guys coming back, so it's not different. It's just how we attend to approach that day as a defense. So. Is it similar schematically just in terms of what you're going against? Uh, yeah, we got the same. Coach Bidegi. I ain't going to speak too much on that. How excited are you to hit some guys in green instead of purple? Oh, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm, I'm excited for anything football. I love football. Football is my passion, and I really hope that I could show you guys how much I really love playing football, just trust technique and eyes and just bringing the energy because everybody loves a good football game. Everybody loves the pass cracking. But I'm very excited, especially because I know a few guys over there in Michigan State, and I know they're excited too. But it's going to be a great game, and we're going to trust ourselves. And at the end of the day, that's, that's all that matters. Thanks, AJ. Yes, sir. Thanks.